So I think this is going to be the one. Let's save that. Next up, we are going to upgrade the Trickstar Research Station. Obviously, that's going to have research labs, so it's going to be producing a lot more. Um, we do not need even remotely that many crew. No, we need one more. That's fine, I guess. Uh, where are you? There we are. Got two cargo bays here. Not really sure that's strictly necessary for us, but I guess it does. It'll do. Uh, one basic fuel cell, two basic fuel cells, and energy. Or two. I could drop the cargo bay, the second cargo bay. Sure, we'll drop that. This way we get. <laughs> Why have I. Well, we've got two ion bombs and two ion field. Pr pr <laughs> that doesn't seem very sensible. Uh, I'm going to drop the two deflectors there, and we are going to replace those with armor. I will go for the plasma torpedoes here, I think, instead. We're so close to being able to have a small starfighter bay on this. You know what? Drop a torpedo for a starfighter bay is an absolutely reasonable replacement there, I think. Fighter capacity 4, fighter build rate 0 0.12 a second, fighter repair rate is 0 0.25 a second. Right. Now, in terms of its research rate, it should actually now be considerably higher. 32. Perfect. There we are. And save. Hey, are you coffin? 45 months, I know, right? It creeps up on you. It really creeps up on you. Uh, the Raging Auroch. Let's upgrade you as well. I am certain that there are going to be a couple of things that I can do better here. So, firstly and foremostly. Alright, we can't save on the crew systems, sadly. Do I really need a remote fuel uh, transfer? For. Well, since this will sometimes be mining Kazlon, yeah, actually, it'll be really useful to have. Um, let's put well, one chunky boy right there. Drop that down a bit more. Having... A uh, second small engine. Now, hmm. I am so sorely tempted to drop the small, the second small mining engine. If we did, see, I'm assuming that that they can simply fly over here and trade. Uh, the docking bay does make remote fuel transfer redundant. Uh, well, it, it sort of does and sort of doesn't. The reason why it doesn't make it redundant is it allows you to refuel a lot more ships even without them docking. But you are right. We don't need it there. And that does free me up a feral bit of uh, space. Not quite enough, but a fair old bit. Mm. Almost there.
So close. It would be nice to have a small flight to pay, but I guess not, necess not necessarily the best option. Um... Yeah, the Empire does live on the mining output, you're quite right. So instead of going for that extra bit of def uh, defense with the fighter bay, I think we'll add just a little bit. Again, because you're not really looking to stop them with this. Other than, like, a, a small creature attack or something like that, this is really not going to do that much damage. The main thing is for it to last long enough for your real um, forces to get there and protect it. I think that should be fine. Okay, and got the research station done. Can we add a resort station? Is there such a thing? There isn't. Okay. Well, what we're going to want to do is start looking at these. So we can make fighters or bombers. It's a ditty little thing. Tiny. Shield deflector, engines, all of them. No, you can't have all of them, apparently. You do not go zoom, zoom. You just go zoom. Uh, tiny little laser cannon, a cockpit, command module, a fuel cell, and a reactor. It's literally all I can do. Consider adding energy collectors. How? Uh, Nevertheless, fuel range 337k. That's actually kind of amusing because <laughs> some of our ships were like around there when uh, right at the beginning. All right, we're going to need a interceptor name. Uh, I wonder what we uh, F FTR fighter. Um, I guess we'll use its attack strength of four. Well, you know, round it up. And tack one, the name shall be, we need a name, a suitable name. And for this, we're going to use the hashtag. Lil Ol Ant, as spelled right there in chat right now. If you would like your name used for this fighter blueprint, we have got four names still prepaid in chat right now, so we are good to go. The resort station does exist, but there's research for it. Ah, okay. So for now, it's just going to be regular stations that happen to have resort, uh, resort abilities. Oh, Nuclear Arc Mage. Thank you very much for, the, uh, for redeeming the name and game there. That's very kind of you. Also, I'm sorry for slurping in your, your ears. Now, I'll probably get both fighters designed with this, so do put your name in if you want the bomber as well. And while that's going on... Yeah, I think this is decent enough. Uh, engagement range, same system, um, nearby. Engagement, uh, attacks, aggressive, stronger, aggressive, it's a fighter, do never retreat. Uh, invade colonies, uh, one clear, uh, I guess. Roll the fleet, attack, uh, picket, close escort, no, picket, no, close escort, no, cl picket, we'll go with picket. Mm, Toggle component base, no, we're good. Okay, that's the cover for entering the naming game. Hashtag Lil Olant. All right then, let's see. 
Who's going to get it? It's uh, Leg on Wood. Or Leg on Wood. I still don't know how to pronounce your name. Legion Wood, I guess. All right. Save. Dunk. Now, add new. Basic Bomber. Uh, once again, we're going to go for Shield. We're going to go for Engines. We are going to have two laser cannons. Pew pew. And exactly the same thing up top. Oh, energy usage is a little bit higher on this one. Yikes. Okay. Guess we're not doing that then. What is even the point? Maybe we go with armor instead? Less engines? Wow, okay. We can't actually make this any better than the regular fighter, so... Hmm. I will design it, but... It's gonna be a while... Like, it, it's... Strictly speaking, not... Better. Lego and wood. I, I see, I see. Yeah, need different bombs, basically, I guess. Uh, I'm actually going to, you know what, I'm going to not make that. Because I don't know how the the ships are going to decide what to use. When, when like, what ones to build from the factories. Uh, we'll bear that in mind, though. Uh, I'll probably come back to that pretty soon, I should hope. Uh, passenger ship. Let's have a look at you. Do you have, no, you've got a basic crew system. Size 10. Maintenance savings, 10%. What does this one offer? Maintenance savings, okay, so it is actually worth it. So upgrade, even if I do nothing else but that, worth doing. Uh, I can't put a vectoring engine, engine on this though. For seven, it wouldn't even fit. How, how bizarre. How bizarre. Uh, I could put armor there. And uh, at this point, I could afford to pop on a, a little weapon if I really wanted to. Um, sure. Ah, oh, shame. Double shame. Though, actually, I suppose that isn't that much of a problem. Uh, I could put this on there just to give it a little bit more. Oh, can I not? Huh. It's one or other really there. Very interesting, okay. A little bit surprised by that, but sure. Fairly certain it is the same setup. It can carry two million passengers at a time. Yeah. Hyperdrive energy requirement is fine. Save and exit. Do not need all of those extra crew. So we, this, the, our escort actually can be improved. Perfect. All right, got a bomb. I'd rather not have you, I'd rather go with torpedo and bomb if I can. That brings us exactly to the correct amount. So we're not gonna be filling that space with anything else. But that has allowed us to upgrade in a pretty big way, actually. Save and exit. Uh, where is the frigate? There we are. Upgrade. Now, you're going to need a little bit more more work. Because I want to put a, a Starfighter bay in there. Now, can I get away with this? I can. Shockingly. But I can only assume this is about to go tits up. 
the moment I, I add in the next component here. I cannot imagine that this is going to be all right. Um, also, I could put a vectoring engine on this, I guess. Acceleration is 13.1, but if I put it in a directional thruster there, it's 8.4, but turn degree is 12, point, uh, 12 degrees a second. Mm. Uh, no, I think the acceleration is better. Right. <laughs> nice. Sprint speed, nice. Right, size is greater. Um, I'd have to lose more fuel cells to make this work. We bring along freighters for this reason so that my uh, frigates can make these jumps. So I'm actually okay with this right now. What would happen if I dropped that? Oh, of course. Everything melts. I only have 181 million astronomical units if I do that. But that would give me a significantly more punchy uh, vessel, I feel. I could lose one engine. To recover a fair old bit of uh, space there. And I could add in these two back, giving me back to 359. Still not quite as punchy as I'd like. There's not a lot that I can do here to get there. I think for now I need to just accept it. If I want to have starfighters, I have to accept that. Fair enough. I want starfighters enough to, to be willing to let that happen. This has now got a attack strength, though, of 36.7. So it's now up to 37 from 16. So that's quite the upgrade. Quite the upgrade, actually. It has slowed down, but oh well. There's only so much you can do with that. Uh, on that note, though, how fast was this? 66. Can I drop in a directional thruster there? A little bit above. It becomes quite a lot more maneuverable. Um. Honestly... Actually, if I drop one, how far can I travel with this? Hmm. It's actually starting to drop a little bit. I was going to say I could just drop one of those. Uh, these could be just a little bit less capable in terms of punchiness. And I could keep them able to move quite far. 385. It's pretty nimble. Or... I drop that entirely and I just shed one of those. 382 to 289. I've got attack strength of 30 from 6. But these things fire very infrequently. What do you think, chat? Go with an one ion bomb? Or go with uh, 
two plasma torpedoes. Or just drop the directional thruster. I mean, I, I, that is still an option, actually. Because then I could have a plasma torpedo and an iron bomb. And then this is a 30... Uh, 33 strength um, escort. I'm sorry, Hammer. I did ruin it. I'm scaling back. Uh, the bomb isn't 120. The bomb is only 48. It's just it, it... That slot can accommodate up to 120. Uh, so of the two weapon system um, hard points, that's the only one that can accommodate the... Um, size 48 ion bomb or the size 20 tractor beam which is just slightly too large for this one but it is the the actual component size that it cares about this just restricts what you can put where trenton was that a vote in favor of just having the iron bomb or what Just the bomb. Okay. Directional thruster it is then. Okay. So that gives us a strength of 30. Should be set correctly. Dunk. Alright, starting to get it there. The fuel tanker. Now... Definitely don't need two of those. What I would love, though... How far can you travel? Um, you can travel quite far, to be fair. I am going to add some armor. I really don't want you getting too involved in any fights, so... I might just leave one plasma torpedo on you. And that's it. Can I add this in? I can, or can I add this in? I also can. Um, two six five range on it as is. If I drop that down, I would actually like to have more cargo bays on it to allow it to carry more fuel for the fleet. I have to have the small mining module, that's just uh, the way that one is. But I could make the, the sublight speed of the tanker much lower. It doesn't need to be traveling fast, it's a tanker. As long as its warp speed is equivalent to the rest of the fleet, that's the main thing. I can make it able to change direction just because I can fit that on it regardless. And I'll make it unarmed. The only only way I could not I could give it a weapon would be to add uh, remove these two and add a weapon in there, but I just don't think it's really going to play out for us. Additionally, oh, now, here's the thing. I could take off its sensor because it's going to be with other ships that are generally going to be set up. Like, it's generally going to be moving into a fleet. However, I should probably build a few of these and just have them out roaming the world because they will then go and top up my, my other ships. The only thing with that is I don't think my like my civilian ships will ever go somewhere where they'll run out of fuel. And likewise with my automated like frigates and escorts, I I think they will only escort ships if they can get there. Hmm. 
And if they're going to another ship to refuel it, that ship, if it has its own sensors, this one won't need it to arrive. It would only give me sight on things on the way. You know what? I am actually going to drop that off. I don't think we need it. Um, not that there's much else I can do with that space, mind you. Which is a bit of the problem. Unless I just go all armor on this. In which case... If I drop the directional thruster, I can add another ion engine. Um, no, I think I think what we had before was solid. Let's pop that back. All right, there we go. It is now a much larger tanker, though, which is great. So let's go and find out the new amount, 2,400. There we are, and save. That's pretty much everything that we're going to need to update. Oh, my good lord. I've got 126 more freighters. That is nonsense. Uh, I could also update my exploration ships. That's reasonable. Um, each one of these provides 100 crew. So technically, yes, yes, that would still su uh, support it. Um, I don't really feel having that on there is, is helpful. I just wanted to get out. I just wanted to bail. The moment there is a problem, I wanted to leave. It's got a lot of fuel. It can go very, very far, and I could top that up a little bit more. Like so. Can now go at four five seven meters. Uh sorry, uh four hundred and fifty seven million uh astronomical units. And I could still fit on a weapon if I wanted to. Surprisingly. Wow, T taking off that one cruise system really helped. Sure. Uh, what were we using that for? I think it was the basic survey module, was it not? Scan range, survey time, maximum survey level is four is fifteen. What was I basing that off? Oh. I like having a visual way for me to quickly see where or, or what the capabilities of a ship are. I am become more chunk. Yes, for Tina Decay, it is true. Uh, meat mopper, let's get you sorted. Uh, you might not need it. Uh, yeah, I, I couldn't actually. You're <laughs> one crew over. Damn, that sucks. Ugh. But, you know, on the plus side, it does help a little tiny bit. Okay. So this changes nothing. But it does increase your maintenance savings ever so slightly. Uh, colony ship isn't really going to benefit from this, but I guess we could. Uh... Simply because I am setting them up anyway. Save and exit. Uh, our mining ships. It's been a while since I've had a look at these. I'm fine with the crew as is. But it, you know, at least again, it'll give us a tiny bit more maintenance savings in the long run. That's fine. Oh my god, my, my poor space bases are going to be Absolutely hammered by this. Absolutely hammered. Plasma torpedo and directional thruster. Well, 
Right, fire by trial. Get yeah, an upgrade once again. Boom. There we go. Alright, so that was a lot of redesigning going on. Unless I <laughs> all the space was like, ah, what have you done? Why? I was five days from retirement. Also upgrading the spaceports. It's going to take a while, actually. Have you finished your spaceport? There we go. New colony founded! Hooray! Show me. Oh. Uh, we've established a new colony, yes. Core NXT is done, and I'm not giving you money. No. Nine in espionage, nine in concealment. You are becoming quite the terror, my friend. Back out there. Okay. Well, it's going to be a little while before we have everything set up here. We're just going to allow the passenger ships that no doubt we have quite a lot of at this point. Uh, in fact, on that note, do we actually have quite a lot of passenger ships? Passenger ships. Yes, and we're building more all the time. Marvellous. Uh, that is fantastic. We want more of those, please, and thank you. Cargo in transit, 75k. Tourists in transit, none. Migrants in transit, also none. That's a bit of a shame. Uh, have you taken care of everything? I think Maze Runner... Is probably retrofitting right now. Uh, it's not actually. It is now. Faded. Thank you. Honestly, now that we've got spies who can do something, espionage 10, very nice. What? You appear to be laggard. Let me zoom in. Meow. All the way in until you are less laggard. That's better. Go ahead and assign. Yes, let's get that up and running. Oh, have we got everyone in the right places? Yeah, more or less. Oh, wow. I can't retrofit it because it doesn't have enough uh, materials there. That's kind of annoying. I'll bear that in mind in the future. Because that would actually help. Okay. Are we able to steal Galaxy Map yet? Uh, I will check. Very soon. I will check very, very soon. Right. They're done with the retrofit. Okay. Is there anything terrible over here? There is. Could you go and check this out for me? I want you to just be certain there's nothing there. Damage control units on the way. Uh, how are my planets? 
have a keen isn't in the best of moods. Hmm. Let's drop that down a little bit, shall we? Maybe help them out. You can definitely have your taxes up a bit more. Zakar is super happy and I'm inclined to leave them that way for now. There we go, that's a bit better. Ooh. Uh, we should explore there a little bit better. No, we're not going to send you a gift. Kind of wish you would stop telling me to, if I'm honest. Uh, neutral of us. Uh, okay, let's see if we can perhaps get you to trade. Negotiate a deal. Trade does not align with our goals. Annoying. Can't get it. It doesn't seem that actually we can we can make these treaties happen. Unless I do something like this, maybe? Nope. Huh. Very curious. Oh, I could trade contact. I don't really want you two talking to each other, actually. I'm pretty happy keeping you two separated. Because you would get on like a house on fire, and that would probably not work well for me. Probably wouldn't work well for me at all. Take their mining stations. You're more effective at using them. I mean, this is fair. There we are. Right. Let's see if we can't do a little bit more with that. So, 939. So, Akdarian. Territory map. Galaxy map. Still 80. Damn it. Okay. I'm going to have to just keep going with the territory map for now, then. Well, I'll see if Unspeaker Blair can handle this area in a moment. Right, what are you doing? Transporting cargo from Firmus 1 mining station to Avakin spaceport. Oh, right, you're going all the way out here to buy some gear. Okay, fair enough. Not terrible. What kind of trade are we bringing in right now? Uh, tourism. Fuel sales was actually quite nice. And trade bonuses was also pretty solid. Well, that isn't terrible, you know. I'm actually fairly happy with it.